Hi, I'm Jessica Levy, and this is 9 to 5 Cooking. Hey guys, welcome back to 9 to 5 Cooking. Today we're going to be working on party food. A lot of the recipes you're going to be seeing are for a little girl's birthday, so you're going to see a lot of purples and pinks. But really, the stuff can be switched around any type of party. Halloween, little boy's birthday, you name it. going to start with a really easy concept here and just do chocolate dipped large pretzel rods. For this particular birthday we called them Princess Fairy Ones. Candy melts or chocolate, it really doesn't matter. What's important is that you heat it up low and slow. So 30 second intervals at half power. I'm going to use a small rack lined with napkins to hold them still while they dry and set. You can use any color combination here, so the sky's the limit. If you don't have a lot of time, you can set these in the refrigerator for about 10-15 minutes, and then you'll want to put them in a really large Ziploc freezer bag to keep them from going stale before the party arrives. So anybody that's ever been to my house for a party knows that there always will be bacon wrapped cocktail weenies. They're such a crowd pleaser and they're gluten free, fat free, and totally healthy for you. Just kidding. So all you need for this recipe is the cocktail weenies which you can find in the bacon section. And while you're there grab a whole bunch of bacon and uh, you also need brown sugar and butter. Okay, so really simple process. Butter the bottom of a baking sheet, cut the bacon in half, and wrap it around the cocktail weenies and line them up on the sheet. When you're done, sprinkle the baking sheet with a half a cup of light brown sugar, dot it with butter, and stick it in the oven about 30 to 40 minutes at 425 or until your bacon is crispy. Next, we're gonna be working on slow cooker barbecue pulled pork. This is great for nachos, put it on top of mac and cheese, definitely a crowd pleaser and totally easy to do. What we're going to start with is a boneless pork shoulder, about three pounds. Make sure you take out the little popper thingy. We're going to mince up four cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to chop up one onion. Also we're going to be adding a finely diced green pepper. Add one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper to taste. Two tablespoons of chili powder and one and a half teaspoon of ground cumin. Last but not least, we're gonna add one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Cover your slow cooker with its lid and cook on low eight to 10 hours or high four and a half to six hours. When it's done, you'll just wanna get two forks and shred it up and then you're good to go. Next, we're gonna talk about fruit skewers. Now, I'm gonna be real with you guys and let you know that this was way more trouble than I think it was worth. Uh, all you need is some watermelon, some grapes, some skewers, and you're good to go. I used a star cookie cutter to cut out star shapes and a large watermelon. And then I used an apple core to cut out a middle section and squeeze the grape in there. And then I skewered both all together and cut the skewer so that it wasn't so top heavy and flimsy. Party time! Now, the rest of the stuff that I did is I didn't quite film, but I did a rainbow vegetable tray. I also made homemade mac and cheese and put them into individual cups. Deviled eggs. I also made mini hot dogs, which is just a hot dog cut in half, and spinach artichoke dip, which I will film next time and show you guys. Happy party! This video was happily sponsored by Technique. That's tech-neek.biz, your one-stop shop for your technology needs.